This build will ruin NBA 2K24. You will consistently dunk all over your opponent. You can shoot from deep like Steph Curry and fade threes like Trey Young. And don't even get me started on the fact that this build has every defensive badge necessary in order to shut your opponents down. I scored 50 points in competitive pro M for $1,000 with barely any badges on this build and you can too. So smash that like button and let's get right into it. So listen up, man. This could be the most insightful video that you watch the entire year. This could be the one that puts you guys on game regardless of what build you want to make. But today I'm going to show you guys my build. My build goes absolutely crazy. All right. So look, what you guys are going to make sure that you do, you're going to start off with 6'6 six, six for the height, 180 for the weight, and a 6'7 wingspan. Now, a lot of people will say, Chuck, what are you going 6'6 six, six for? What's your thought process behind going 6'6? Six, six? Here's my thought process behind going 6'6 six, six and why it's working for me. So between the game's latency being bad and my inability for whatever reason to have good internet in general i haven't really been able to shoot on these shorter players but it's six foot six you unlock jt thor and jt thor has been absolutely game changing for me i'm going to show you guys all my sigs and my complete jump shot and everything in this video as well but i just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know every single thought process behind this build this build was made and designed to a t to be the best possible build for an extended period of time. This build is not gonna get patched. This build is not gonna get broken. This build is as good as it is and it's only going to get better. So look, I went 6'6 because I got JT Thor. JT Thor has been the answer for me. For my people out there that don't have good internet, that are struggling shooting, JT Thor is the wave. So let's go ahead and move into the finishing, all right? I have a 52 close shot, 72 driving layup, 45 driving dunk, and an 85 standing dunk. Now, here's the thought process behind everything, okay? 45 driving dunk, is the threshold to get the nice off one dunk packages. Now, it's nothing crazy, okay? It's nothing crazy, but it's absolutely serviceable. And because you're going with a low driving dunk, you are able to get points in so many other places. Also, for those of you guys who don't know, you guys haven't watched or just, I understand that some of you guys just watch casual people and you're not really learning a lot from that, but standing dunks this year are absolutely insane. Standing dunks are nutty okay and on this build as you guys saw in the intro and as you guys will see in some of this gameplay standing dunks just go absolutely crazy the reason i went with an 85 standing dunk is because honestly it doesn't cost much to get it up and that's a big misconception that a lot of people have is they think that it's going to cost them and it doesn't if you guys don't want to have this much standing dunk here's what i would advise you to do for those of you guys that like to tweak my builds what i would do is i would make sure that at least the bare minimum dunking that you guys have for driving is 36 and for standing is 45. You cannot just have stand dunk and no driving dunk or the animations will not trigger. That's something that you guys need to know and be cognizant of making your builds moving forward. Now let's go ahead and get into the shooting aspect of this build, which is absolutely S tier. So I have a 78 mid range, a 93 three pointer and an 84 free throw. And again, everything about this build is so intricately gone through guys. I have spent over 24 hours in the My Player Builder. I'm not exaggerating when I say that guys, I have been living in the builder, even on my streams, if you guys tune into my streams, half the time I'm just looking at the builder, seeing if I can find something better. Now, a lot of people will ask me, Chuck, why did you go 93-3 over 92? Because 92 is the threshold for Silver Limitless. But when you go 93, you get Hall of Fame open looks. And guys, if you guys don't know anything about this game, Hall of Fame open looks is absolutely worth getting it. It only costs one more point for you guys to get. So trust me, when you're making these Silver Limitless builds, go with a 93 three-pointer over a 92. You guys will thank me in the long run. And then the 84 free throw, guys, if you don't play Pro-Am, you don't need it, but that got me these silver free points. And obviously, guys, if you're playing Pro-Am or Rec Center, it's always good to be consistent at the line because as the badge says itself, those are literally free points. Now let's get into the playmaking aspect of the build. And honestly, guys, this is the reason that I did not want to post this build because I know that the casual player will look at this build and say, Chuck, this build sucks. You don't have X, Y, Z. And I'm going to go ahead and break down for you guys why everything is where it is. And I'm just asking that you sit back, listen, and trust me. Now, the biggest concern that people have with this build is the 63 pass accuracy. And people will say, Chuck, what in the world are you thinking playing ball handler with a 63 pass accuracy? Trust me, hear me out real quick. I'm gonna show you guys a graphic from 2K Labs. 2K Labs does all the badge testing, everything tested. 63 to 95 pass accuracy is only a 0.4 second difference in your pass speed. 0.4, 0.4. 
is absolutely nothing guys and even 63 to 80 is about 0.2 it is not worth it to be losing out on all the other stuff that you're going to gain on a build like this to have 0.2 second faster passing when you're on these bigger builds you are never going to have that 80 90 plus pass accuracy and if you do it's just not really worth the return guys if you guys tune into my streams and you watch me play you will see that i am still throwing absolute lasers out there with low pass accuracy guys i know it seems troll but i am not putting hundreds of dollars into builds guys this build is a 95 i'm not making builds and not playing on them this build is a 95 overall so i'm clearly playing on it and i'm rolling with it and if i can do it i'm telling you guys you can too you have 92 ball handling okay that's going to get you guys the speed booster that you're going to need the unpluckable all that good stuff and then you have 83 speed with ball again that's just threshold for speed booster gold speed booster is going to be good enough for you guys to be out there getting buckets and a lot of people say chalk you know how, what what dribble stars are using all that listen just trust me i got you guys with all my animations and stuff in the video as well now let's get into where i really went absolutely stupid and that's on the defense and i'm going to break down my thought process behind it for you guys as well 34 on the interior 94 perimeter 91 steel 49 defensive rebound now Basically, everybody, for you guys that do not know, steals are broken in this game. And you guys have a 91 steal, which is going to get you guys gold glove, gold interceptor, and gold right stick ripper, guys. You are going to be able to pluck your opponents at will with these badges. Now, a lot of people will also look at this and say, yo, why did you go higher on the perimeter than the steal? Because you could have dropped your perimeter and got a higher steal. This is my thought process behind it. At some point, whether it be today, whether it be tomorrow, whether it be a week from now, a month from now, at some point, guys, Unpluckable is either going to get buffed or steals are going to be nerfed. They cannot leave the game like this. The only reason it's been okay so far is because everybody doesn't know how OP it is yet. The second people find out, gameplay is going to get really sloppy and really ugly guys if you guys have been watching competitive gameplay especially pro-am it's basically team scoring 40 points and that's just not good for the longevity of a game so the reason i went with the perimeter over the steel is because perimeter is not going to get patched guys and for those of you guys who don't know perimeter is directly linked to your shot contest so i have half challenger gold clamps half 94 feet half ankle braces gold pick dodger guys i am literally a lockdown defender this build is a lockdown defender so for my pro-am people out there you guys are playing shooting guard guarding shooting guards it's like having two locks on the court and then for my park people i can guard ball absolutely on this but i have the same defensive stats as most locks yet i can do everything i can dribble i can score i can dunk i can literally do everything and i am still on a lock guys this build is absolutely cracked out i mean it is I can't stress to you guys enough. I have only played on this build with bronze badges, guys. I don't have my badges maxed yet. And I'm telling you right now, I am a problem in every single game mode. I've played 20 part games with this build so far and I'm 20 and 0, and I've been absolutely dominating in program as well. And again, guys, all of this has been done with the worst internet I've had since I started doing 2K. For whatever reason, my internet company is doing so poorly right now, I think I'm gonna switch because it's been so bad and I'm still out here competing at the highest level with this build and dominating at the highest level with this build. And let me go ahead and show you guys the physical aspect as well, guys. 78 on the speed, 87 on the acceleration, 55 on the strength. The reason we go with a 55 strength is so we can get the gold clamps because like I said, bro, this build can do a little bit of everything. You're an absolute lockdown defender. 48 on the vertical because we don't need it. And then a 99 on the stamina. And the reason we went with the 99 stamina is because the 99 stamina is gonna get you guys the Hall of Fame workhorse and it's gonna get you Hall of Fame 94 feet. It's worth having it. It doesn't cost you much extra if you guys don't think that those two badges are necessary then go ahead and go 96 at least to make sure that you guys get the gold handles for days but listen i'm not exaggerating when i say that so much time energy and effort has been put trying to find a build like this guys i usually break the builder every single year and i'm telling you i have done it yet again I'm telling you right now, you're going to see that over time, people are going to start rocking with the lower pass accuracy builds. I'm telling you, I know it seems troll. I know it's like, oh man, 63. I'm telling you guys, I am telling you right now, you are able to make your build so much better when you're saving points on your driving dunk, when you're saving points on your pass accuracy, guys. I am literally a pure lock 
that can play hash and dribble. I can literally play point guard. I am a point guard, 6'6", pure lock. I'm a pure slashing, shooting defender, dunker. Like, bro, I am telling you right now, I have yet to see another build as well-rounded as this build. It's absolutely nuts what this build can do. And, and I'm telling you, if you make this build for yourself, I can legitimately guarantee you that you will be happy with the money that you put in. And I don't say that all the time. When you look at the build guide, absolutely every build in there is going to make you guys happy. But the thing is, in this game right now, there's not a lot of builds that can use in every single game mode. Most builds are going to be made specifically for certain game modes. You cannot rock a six foot two on the twos. You cannot rock a five seven on the twos. But on this right here, you can play Pro-Am. You can play Park. You can play rec. This build is made for every single game mode. You can do it all on this kind of build, guys. And, and it's the first of its type in this year. And I'm telling you, you guys can go watch these other content creators and watch the stupid six foot eight builds that they put out or the dumb seven foot one Victor Wembenyama builds that they put out and throw your VC on it thinking that they're good builds. And the second you run into anyone competitive like me on a build like this, you are going to be miserable. All I'm asking you guys to do is trust me a little bit. All I'm asking you guys to do is do your own homework. Listen, you, you guys wanna go watch these other YouTubers and watch them because they're entertaining, because you think they're funny, because you think their videos are edited well, be my guest. But when you are trying to make builds that are going to be good at this game, stop listening to these clowns. These dudes do not care about you, dog. They are trying to get videos out. They are making builds that they know suck at the game because they know you'll like them. Even though they know they suck and they know that the build is not really good, they're going to label them as demigod builds and they make them to cater to the casual's eye. Not to put the casual on what is actually good, but to cater to the casual's eye and get a cooler title out. Like, oh, I made a seven foot one Victor Wembenyama demigod build. No, you made a seven foot one piece of trash that is never going to be useful in any game mode. And listen, bro, I swear on everything I love, I'm only telling you guys all of this because I want you guys to be successful. My main goal when I started this channel was I wanted to teach people how to be better at the game. There were so many games out there that I would play and I was never good at them. And I just wanted to know how to be good. So one time, the only game that I was ever really like that at, I'm just trying to do what I was hoping someone would do for me. Everything that I'm dropping is dropped to help you guys get better at the game. Whether it be jump shots, whether it be the build guide, whether it be the settings video, everything that has been dropped so far, everything on this channel will help you get better at NBA 2K. And guess what guys, if that's not enough and if you don't believe me off that, I respond to every single comment. I am the only YouTuber of this size responding to every single comment because I genuinely care about you guys and I genuinely want to see people that watch me be better at the game. I genuinely want it to be something when somebody asks you how you guys got so good at 2K, you tell them, yo, I listened to Chalk. Yo, I got Chalk's build. Yo, Chalk put me on. That's how I want it to be. I want people that watch me to reap the benefits of getting better at the game. That is literally the sole purpose of this channel. Now, let me show you guys the animations that I've been using on this build. So let me go ahead and get into my animations for you guys. And you guys can copy these for yourself and use them as you see fit. Now, I don't play with a pass style. I never have, I never will. I don't care if I have 99 pass accuracy, I don't use pass styles. Dribble style, I've gone between Zach Levine and Magic Johnson. That's the only things that I would say are up for changing on this. Everything else, I would run exactly the way that I'm running it, guys. This build goes absolutely crazy. You have good dribble moves, you're fast. You can do a little bit of everything, guys. And I'm telling you, if you put these SIGs on, you guys would be absolutely dominating. And listen, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section, guys. If you guys just wanna say hi, talk to me, guys. I respond to every single comment. And if you guys have teammates that need builds, need jump shots, need to get better at the game, send them the channel, because I promise you they will get better from watching the videos on this channel. This is the most informative channel out there. Listen, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, your boy Chalk. Stay tuned for more, and I'm out. Peace.